What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another gun guide. This is the series where I go into great detail with all the stats of every one of the weapons in COD World War II. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the MG81 light machine gun. So the MG81 is a German LMG that fires an 8mm Mauser at an insane fire rate of roughly 15 to 1600 rounds per minute. It was designed for and used primarily in aircraft in the war, not so much as an infantry weapon. In COD World War II, we get a damage profile of 3522, meaning it's always going to be a 3 to 4 shot kill, although just like with all the other LMGs, the drop off point to the 4 shot kill range here is so ridiculously far away that you're never going to find a practical line of sight where it drops off to that. So in realistic terms, this is always going to be a 3 shot kill. Our rate of fire is completely inaccurate to the actual gun at only 491 rounds per minute, and with rapid fire we can take that up to 540 rounds per minute. Our time to kill is going to be 244 milliseconds, which is right around average for those close to somewhat mid-range gunfights, but when you start to stretch it out to the longer ranges when you're still in the 3 shot kill range of this gun, it's actually a great time to kill, although it's still technically beat out by the Lewis. Getting into headshots, we get a standard headshot multiplier of 1.1, which takes our headshot damage profile to a 38, and this essentially means that headshots aren't really doing anything to help you. Moving on to ranges, like I said earlier, just like with all the LMGs, there's no range in this game that I can show you where it drops off to a 4 shot kill. Same thing goes with hardcore, you'll never be able to find a practical line of sight that will take this to a 2 shot kill, unless you're shooting through cover of course. As for hipfire, it's got standard hipfire for the LMG category, it's the same as the GPMG, the Lewis, and the MG42. For idle sway, as you can see here, there's practically no idle sway with this, which is in line with pretty much all of the other LMGs in the game, your first shot accuracy is going to be near perfect. As for recoil, as you can see here, it does bounce around just a little bit within a very confined area, so it's a very accurate gun, although at those extremely long ranges, sometimes it will bounce you to the side off of your target. Generally, recoil won't be an issue at all until you start stretching those ranges, and that's when you'll start to notice that horizontal recoil just might mess with you a little bit. Moving on to magazine capacity, at the time of me recording this video at least, there is a weird bug where the game displays this as only having a 50 round magazine, but it actually has a 60 round magazine standard. I feel like one of these numbers is going to change in the future so that they actually match. I don't know if they're going to keep it at 60 rounds and change the description for the gun, or if they're going to keep the description of the gun and change it to only 50 rounds in the game. We'll just have to wait and see how that one plays out. But as it is right now, you get 60 rounds in the magazine with 120 in reserve. And with extended mags, we jump that up to 90 rounds in the magazine with 180 in reserve. Our reload add time is quite good for the LMG category. It's actually the second best, only beat out by the MG15. However, in saying that, it still has a pretty slow reload time in comparison to the other weapon classes at just over four and a half seconds. Our aim down sight time is standard for the LMG category at 300 milliseconds, and our sprint out time is just a little bit slower than our aim down sight time at 330 milliseconds. So you definitely don't want to get caught sprinting with this gun. Our movement speed is standard for the LMG category at 92.5%, and our aim down sight stray speed is also pretty standard for the LMG category at 40%. As for recommended attachments, as always with LMGs, quick draw, I highly recommend you use quick draw on the LMGs. Extended mags, of course, is also another excellent choice with any LMG because you don't want to get stuck reloading all the time. FMJ is also great with LMGs because you can just spray through cover and still maintain a very high damage and just destroy people through walls. In addition to that, if you wanted to, you could shoot down certain streaks with FMJ. And finally, since I really like the iron sight, I wouldn't recommend any sights, but there's one attachment that I really do like on this gun, and this is rapid fire. It's a similar story as with the new SMG, the M38. When you pop rapid fire on the M38, it takes it from a pretty average gun to a gun that actually competes quite well with the PPSH. It's kind of the same story here. If you put rapid fire on the MG81, it takes it from an inferior Lewis to now something that actually competes with the Lewis quite well. That's not to say that you need rapid fire on this gun to make it decent and make it playable. It's still a good gun without rapid fire. It's just not quite as good as the Lewis in my mind unless you pop that rapid fire attachment on there. Getting into a couple example classes with the MG81. First up we have one with the infantry division, quick draw, extended mags, FMJ, lookout, a 9mm SAP with extended mags, and a concussion grenade. This is really for that traditional sort of LMG role. You're hanging back a little bit, picking people off at range. This gun is excellent at picking people off at range. Lookout helps a lot with that so you can see those enemy name tags at longer distances for faster target acquisition. And also having that bigger minimap coverage gives you much better situational awareness so you know when somebody's coming up to you. And this is one of my favorite classes to use with the MG81. One alternative is designed to be a little bit more on the aggressive side. 
This one is using Hunker for our basic training, and we also swapped out FMJ for Rapid Fire on this one. So it's designed to be a bit more competitive up close and personal, or at least at those mid ranges. You don't want to be using this gun at point blank ranges if you can avoid it. And we also swapped out the Concussion Grenade for a Sticky Grenade. This is the type of class I would tend to use on a slightly smaller map or maps with shorter lines of sight. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's gun guide. I'd like to know in the comment section below, as always, what's your opinion on the MG81 so far? For me personally, I'm still feeling pretty strongly that it's just an inferior Lewis. Rapid fire can definitely help to bump it up a little bit. And don't get me wrong, even using this without rapid fire, it's still a good gun. There's nothing really seriously wrong with this gun by any means. I'm not saying you can't do well with it, and I'm not even saying you can't excel with this gun. I just personally prefer the Lewis, and statistically speaking, the Lewis is superior in almost every single category. Before we wrap it up, if you guys have missed any of the previous episodes of Gun Guide, I will leave a link to the playlist down below. I've already covered the brand new SMG, the M38, so if you guys missed that one, make sure you check out that playlist down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.